Hi, this is Pastor Scott with a message about identity. There's some folks having some identity changes around here at Holy Cross. Pastor Morgan, who was a student, is now graduated. She is a seminary graduate. She has a different identity. Soon she will be getting ordained when she will officially become rubber stamped as a pastor. That's an identity thing. Sally is on our staff right now. She is a member of our staff. Soon she will not be. And then Pastor Morgan will also not be a member of our staff. These are changes in identity. Identity shifts and moves and, and different things happen and it changes who we are. You become a spouse or not. You become a parent or not. You become an orphan, perhaps, if you lose both of your parents. Identity moves and shifts and changes and who we are can be upset and that can cause us to struggle, right? When the ground underneath our feet, our identity is, our, is a piece of bedrock, right? When that shifts, when that moves, that's tough. That can be tough. And depending on what it is, can depend on how tough it is. There's one piece of identity that does not change. I'm going to read from you now, for you now from the book of Genesis, the beginning, the creation story. God makes all this stuff, right? There's light and there's water and there's the sky and there's animals. And then it says, God said, let us make humankind in our image. According to our likeness, let them have dominion over all the stuff. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, God created them. Male and female, God created them. That is a piece of identity. That is who you are. You, you watching this video, I don't know you maybe, never met you maybe, but you were made in the image of God. Whether you're male, whether you're female, you were made in the image of God. It doesn't matter what your body looks like. It doesn't matter the shape or any of that gender, any of that stuff. What matters is that you were made in the image of God as you are. Now, how does it work that male, female, both made in the image of God? Like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of things about the Bible and God that I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, but it's true. You were created in the image of God. And that is a piece of identity that will never change. I invite you to pray with me. We'll start by taking three deep breaths. God, help me to remember in the good times and the bad that I am made in your image that that is who I am, that I am your child, and that that will never change. Amen. Speak to you soon.